Previously on Alan Wake. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. After saving my wife from the mysterious dark presence, I found myself trapped in the dark place. Imagination can be the enemy here. A nightmarish world that exists somewhere beyond the shores of our own existence. We're the one making all this happen. Just do what Zane tells you. Follow the signal. Is all this really it's coming out of my head? Dark place, stranger. I made my way across its ever-shifting landscape, trying to reach Thomas Zane. If you're trapped in your own nightmares, you're still going deeper. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Really? Your delusions are out of control. Get out of my head. Seriously, Al? You need to get a grip. You know reality's different here. See what I mean, Al? Ugh, I think I'm stuck on this side. Well, you're gonna have to find your way out of there. I'll wait. Just remember, you're still in the dark place. You know that, right? I don't want to alarm you, pal, but it's sink or swim time. Fine. I could feel the pressure mounting. Barry was right. Time was running out. Everything I saw was a dark, twisted version of reality based on my memories and thoughts. Accepted. If all of this was from my mind, then I was the one making all this happen. I was literally fighting myself. It was a moment of clarity. After finishing departure, I felt finished myself. All I had wanted was to save Alice. After that, a part of me had been ready to just give in and die. But I hadn't given up. Thomas Sane had reached me. I had run across a nightmarish landscape following a signal from him. He kept telling me I was sinking, going too deep. I wasn't sure if he meant the dark place or insanity. Perhaps they were one and the same. So, you really are nuts, huh? Let's face it, we always knew this was coming. I guess, but I actually feel pretty rational, all things considered. Crazy people don't know they're crazy. That's where they're crazy. Hey, check out the light show behind the lodge. That's Zane's light. Yeah, you're done sinking now. That means he's just about caught up with you. You better go talk to him. Lots of fireworks here. Nice. Wake heard the old gods play. Music came out all wrong. It attracted the horrors. Oh, hell yeah. Remember this, Al?
Zane out there now that he's actually here. I'm just gonna, you know, let you non-imaginary people talk in peace. You're not coming? Nah, that was a crunch, you know. Hey, you're moving up in the world, buddy. Zane, you have done well, Alan. Now I can accompany you. You are trapped in your own dream. You must wake yourself up, but first, you have to reach yourself. The cabin. Yes, my cabin. It will not be easy. Your previous work can help you. I still have some pages of your manuscript left. Words like that have power here. made sure of that on our last encounter. You are facing yourself, the parts of your mind that are hard to control. This is not a fight anyone else can win for you. different. I was glad to have Zane with me in this place. He knew the dimension such as it was, but a part of me wondered if he was even human anymore after so many years in this place.
wind was picking up. Weight was too high. Too high! At this height, the water would be like hitting concrete. You can't want me dead this the bad. The storm was coming! It would throw him off! Things are getting pretty crazy here, Zane. It's to be expected. You are struggling to reclaim yourself. The landscape reflects that strain. Each step takes you closer. If you persevere, you can attain the lucidity that fends off the darkness. Now that I knew what I was facing, the environment became even wilder and stranger, like it was no longer even bothering to pretend that things were normal.
to run through a maze, hopelessly sprinting in the wheel, never getting anywhere, his life in miniature. It was useless! Stop sanity. You're doing well. Keep going. It's hard to make sense of this place. It's a dream. This is a vast place. Home to forces and beings that are completely alien. The Dark Presence. Yes. I don't know what happened to it after your final encounter. Is there any way out of here? Sometimes transmissions can be sent between worlds. You've done this yourself. But to actually leave the Dark Place... I haven't found a way. Stucky's gas station. Not something I particularly wanted to see, but obviously I wasn't the one in the driver's seat. Another memory made real. Blake would never make it. The insanity he was facing was already a part of it, in him, his own doing. He couldn't possibly win. He didn't even want to.
At least the lighthouse was much closer now. I would have to make my way up there somehow. There was no power to the log lift. Part of you that is in control is in the cabin, dreaming and insane. I don't think I like that. You represent the part of Alan Wake that is capable of rational thought and planning, which is why I'm talking to you. If that part can regain control, then you have a chance of making it. But a part of you wants to give in. There's comfort in the oblivion of dreams. You represent the part that isn't ready to quit and die. Wait! Are you telling me I'm not real? You're as real as anything else in this place. So there are two of me? Yes. And the one you called Mr. Scratch, he's me as well? No. Zane, are you playing some kind of game with me? I am not the author of your story. How can you say that when you wrote that page about me and the clicker? It wasn't one of my pages. You directed me to it. You had Weaver guard it. Yes, she was needed, and you needed to click, but I, I'm not. What? I don't understand. Alan, you should keep going. Zane? 
Zane, come on! Well, that cleared things up. I can help you here. mistake I made with Barbara.
Wake ran for the light. It was pointless. He would never reach it. His life would be snuffed out just as easily as the very thing he thought would save him. Even with the light gone, all I could do was keep going. Since we're being so frank here, Alan, and let me just reiterate how happy I am that you've had this breakthrough, I would like to summarize your condition. By all means. And please, just let me know if you think I'm being unfair. All right. Well, let's start with the obvious, the car crash. Untreated head trauma. All due respect to Doc Nelson, but he's hardly a neurosurgeon. I think that the injury has affected you more than you realize. Yeah, I have had bad headaches. Then there's your history of substance abuse, which, combined with your chronic insomnia, has resulted in hallucinations and extremely poor impulse control. That's a dangerous combination, one which your wife has unfortunately had to suffer from far more than you. I know. I know she has. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that you are existing in a state of all-encompassing denial. Your vivid fantasy casts you as a heroic victim and allows you to skirt responsibility for your own actions. It allows you to solve your imaginary problems and dismiss the things that truly trouble you. In your self-serving delusions, your personal problems are assets that allow you to save Alice, perhaps even the world. Dr. Harmon, I... I think that's spot on. I can't argue with any of that. Well, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious. I don't want to labor the point, but, well, um... No, no. I understand. It's important that I face it. Precisely, Alan. You've put so much effort and imagination into this self-deception, but what good has it really done for you? You refused my offer of help, and here you are. Did being so obdurate really get you to a better place? No. No. And did it really help Alice? Was this really the best thing for your wife? Probably not. Probably not. Why don't we find out? You know, I've been talking with her. There's something she wanted you to hear. Oh, hey. That sounds like fun. All I ever wanted was to help you, Alan. I ate all the shit you handed out and tried to understand your pathetic, wealthy white male drama until my life consisted of managing your never-ending crisis. I hate you for your childish temper and the arrogance and self-indulgent pride that undermine all efforts to drag you out of the hole you insisted on digging for yourself. I hate you for leaving me in the dark with that insane monster bitch! All you had to do was act like a loving human being for once in your life and stay with me. If your dramatic exit hadn't been more important than making sure I was all right, she would never have taken me. I don't know where you went, but that's okay. I don't want to know. I don't think I'll ever be all right. The only thing that keeps me from killing myself is the hope that I'll never see you again. Ouch. I... I just can't argue with that. I think I should stay here before I ruin what life she has left. I think this is a breakthrough, Alan. I'm really very proud of you. It was nonsense. I knew I had saved her. I'd succeeded in that, and that was all that mattered. What I heard in there wasn't the truth. It was just another toxic mirage. It cut deep, but that made me all the more determined to force myself to snap out of it. I didn't want to be that guy anymore. I had to make myself see the light. Jeez! 
come far, but there's still a little further to go. You must take full control of your own mind. Reject all of the fantasies you have constructed. Yeah, well, I think I can do that. A lot of the stuff I've seen here is personal and ugly as hell. I'll admit it hurts, but it's not fooling me. I know it's fake. Good. You are aware. The part of you bent on self-destruction is not. But you must be careful just because you know the lies for what they are. That doesn't make the danger any less real. I'll make it. I don't have any choice. Here. I cannot come any further, but this will help you on your way. Thanks. I guess. tell you something, Alan. I know how your mind works. You screw up, then you start analyzing it, and before you know it, you start writing all these horror stories in your head. Don't you? Come on, I don't do that. <laughs> yes, you do. I know how it goes. You're a complete failure. I hate you and I'll never forgive you for whatever it was that you did. Am I wrong? Oh, man. See? I know you. But, Alan, it's all in your head. It is. I love you, and I'm not going anywhere. eager to kill. They were coming for Wake, and this time they would get it with sheer numbers.
relieved to have made it here, but I wasn't sure what was going to happen now. Zane had left me. I wasn't sure what the Dark Presence had done to him if he couldn't follow, but from now on, I was on my own. Still, he had gotten me this far. I would never have made it by myself. This thing was going to end. It wouldn't be long now. surprised by the change of scenery, but not much. I was starting to understand the symbolism, the way the dark place flowed. Wow, it's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Kinda of depressed here. What? So Zane's your new buddy now. I feel abandoned. This is ridiculous. You're not even real. That doesn't mean I don't have any feelings. Thing is, you need to get all rational here. Abandon your fantasies, right? Well, I kinda hate to say this, pal, but I'm one! Fine. You're abandoned. Bye. Al, what I'm saying is the only way you're getting in that cabin is through me. It's one of those kill your darlings things. But hell, you're used to that, big shot writer. Am I right? It was in everything. It was even taking the people Wake knew, turning his friends against him. They were all against him. What does it say about you when you're this desperate to keep yourself from getting better? Here we go! I'm earning a 50% commission. yourself an imaginary hey friend and then you I can't even get along with that guy people skills al you're a master let's crack that writer's block of yours alan An expert on murder and dark alleyways. And a master of substance abuse. That's the best part. Being of this has triple shot treatment. It's great for my job. Oh, 
you have all impulse control. I'm a bit more It's very enriching. I have several for your speed dial just because I can go and get in trouble again. You know what kind of people need that? Gangsters and assholes. And you're not a gangster because they make money all the time. Hey, but when you throw a hissy fit. survive in this place the way he had, and I might not make it back a second time. Leaving this place would be hard. Maybe impossible.
It wouldn't take much for my thoughts to stray again. It was too easy to get lost in the dark place. Before, I was ready to curl up and die, let myself slip away. But here I was, the yet unwritten future waiting to unfold before me. A sequel to Departure. My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. 